Hello and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to process uh, Hubble data uh, for your own images. In this case I will be processing uh, M16, the Eagle Nebula and then specifically the part called the Pillars of Creation. First we're gonna search on Google for the Hubble data. Uh, this will show, uh, show up the HL a, uh, the welcome to the Hubble archive basically. If you click on that one and then click enter site here, you'll be directed to the Hubble legacy archive. Here there's the, here uh, can be all data from Hubble can be found. For now, like I said, we're going to search M16, then click uh, from inventory to images and it will show all the images. For now, we're interested in the uh, 502, the 657, and the 673. These are, um, I believe, uh, HA, S2, and O3. So we're going to add to cart, add to cart, and add this one to cart. When the files have loaded into your cart, you will want to switch a zipped file to download sequentially and fetch the data. When the files are done downloading, we can open up Cyril to convert them and do a basic stretch because Photoshop can't read the FITS files that the Hubble Legacy Archive uses for saving. We're gonna start with the top one here. And we can start stretching. I like to start with a basic standard histogram transformation and do that again. And it's already showing quite a lot of detail in uh, the nebula. And do that again just to see if it brings out any extra. Yeah, I'm going to keep that and when you're done with your basic first stretch you're going to want to save it uh, make a working directory or set a working directory or somewhere where you where you want to save your files for me it I will create a new file in my temporary serial um, folder um, I'm gonna call it M1603 because this is the 502 uh, micrometer wavelength. This uh, this is also known as O3. Um, and it's important that you save them as TIFFs. It will ask you to do uh, if you want 32 bit or 16 bit. Uh, I would suggest just uh, clicking 16 bit. And then save and then repeat the same process for the other three files after you've saved your first stretch we can create our RGB composite. As I said, we were creating a HSO image, also known as a Hubble palette image. So red is going to be S2, green will be HA, and blue is going to be O3. With that, we can close out of here open up our RGB tab and already we can see the famous Hubble palette, the green cast and everything. We will now save this composite as a TIFF file. Save 16 bit. And we can bring it into Photoshop. 
inside of Photoshop we open up our composite after bringing it into Photoshop the final thing you have to re in my opinion have to do is to crop the image using the perspective crop uh, you'll want to use perspective crop because the uh, Hubble images aren't always uh, orientated in the way you may want so using the perspective crop you can save as much of the image as, as possible something like this enter and with that this is the end of the tutorial um, I hope you found it useful and I wish you good luck with editing your own images I will paste the final result of my edit at the end of the video